What up, though? Glad you're chill with me. Prediction time. Guardians of the culture. Cold War going down tomorrow. So get your tickets. They also got a pay-per-view. Go to GOTCTV.com. Man, they are throwing out events. I think this is their fifth event. Each one has had a pay-per-view. They're the fastest growing battle rap platform. That's their. That's what they say. And uh, I can't dispute that because they get names on these cards quickly. And it's some really unique matchups. So I'm feeling it, digging it. You know how to permit, uh, the predictions go. Starting off from the least to the greatest. Uh, Lavish versus Drops. Lavish versus Drops. I've seen, La I've seen Lavish on Guardians of the Culture before. I feel he's solid. I just think he kind of got this template of a traditional URL PG guys, like a lot of stopping, a lot of clicks with the gun, like all of that. Is, like, you know, I wish I want to see a little switch up in his pace and delivery and performance. Uh, drops a guy who's really wordy, but sometimes lacks the punch. Hope I think I, but I trust him in this scenario. I think he's going to pack a better punch. I've seen him on our battle TV a couple of times, just, you know, browsing as I normally do. So I think, I think he's going to put it all together and come out with a better performance, and he should win this one. Laura Spark versus Zulu. Laura Spark, I seen interesting guy, got a nice pin to him, can perform pretty well. I definitely think Zulu should win this one, though, because Zulu has what I call a unique – I wouldn't say unique. I would say it's just more refreshing style because it's not like tool grip and move different. It's like very controlled – it's not slow, but it's smooth. Smooth, and he's still punching well, right? So I'm going to go with Zulu in that one. Uh, RK versus Gwitty is another battle on here. RK is a brother who's been on Guardians of the Culture a lot. I think uh, he's had some some good battles, and I've seen some that I was just like, this ain't it. But this is your chance to level up. Gwitty is well, well, well established as far as being around for a, a minute. Last time I seen was versus Ryder. And while that clip went viral, the the Ryder sequence where it's the welcome to battle rap, Gwitty was good in that battle too. So I'm going to go with Gwitty just based off of the more experienced guy being able to handle this environment and just being a little more confident on that stage, on that platform. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with Gwitty in that one. The next one I want to talk about is Lou Cypher versus XL. Lou has been improving, man. Lou has been around for a minute, low key. He got, he's been improving in his material. I like it. I've, I've been noticing it. I've noticed it. XL, XL is XL, man. He's gonna be lyrical. He's gonna be intricate. He's gonna be punching hard. I seen him versus Real Sick, uh, a battle that I really enjoyed. It was a one rounder. Also seen him versus Quest McCody on the Mass card, the King of the Dot, and he's just gonna be him. And I think that's gonna be enough to get the job done in this one. I'm gonna go two one clear for XL. Although I think Lou will put up a nice fight. Um, another battle I want to talk about. B Magic versus Don Marino. B fucking Magic. Now I heard he slipped up in the math battle. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's verified or not. But if so, this that spells a bad, bad situation. Because Don seems like he's on that, you can't beat me here. <laughs> like... You know what I'm saying? It's like Verb in St. Louis or something. Like, I'm not going to lose in my backyard because word is, the consensus is pretty pretty overwhelming consensus that he beat uh, Pass pretty badly. And Pass is like a West Coast legend who I had winning that battle, but it didn't go down like I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go with Don Marino. I'm going to tr trust him in this setting, being at home, being comfortable. And, like, he's nice, too. He's nice. Wish he'd switch up, you know, the every four bar shit, but you know, all in all, I think he'll do enough to beat B Magic two one. I'ma say two one, but the first the round that B Magic win will probably be clear for B Magic because he can get into that zone where he remembers that he's B Magic. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where that's where I'm going with that one. What's next? Uh So Severe. No, I'm gonna go yeah, So Severe, Marv one. So severe is nice, nice. So severe is nice, nice. He punches really well. He's got really good structure. Uh, and yeah, man, he's aggressive. Got nice vocal projection. But at all in all, Marv One is a legend. A legend in this. 
been around, been on many platforms. He's not going to be phased by this moment or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I think the way he can pick an angle and cater it to you, make it specifically for you, is going to last. You know, it's going to stay. It's going to look beautiful on cam, and I'm pretty sure it's going to hit in the building. So, with that being said, I'm going to go with Marv 1-2-1. One, one. I'm going to say slightly in this one. I think it's going to be a good back and forth. But I just think Marv 1 is more well-rounded as well, can freestyle, can play to the crowd, can be funny and witty. So I think all that being said, I'm going to go with Marv 1. Marv 1 is going to win that one. Uh, What's next? Jay Murder versus the Saga is an interesting battle. You're talking about two <laughs> totally different styles and how they do their shit, man. I think the Saga has been on an incredible run since like the top of last year. He really ain't lost too many battles, let's be honest. He's getting the looks, he's getting the plates, and he's on a mission, man. He's on a mission for real. So I definitely see him cooking in this battle. Jay Murder has had a nice year, man. Well, a nice 2019, we're in the new year, but he's had a nice year. He beat people that some people didn't think he could be. I felt he beat Young Cannon pretty clearly. Um, he has, you know, the, the stage presence to kind of shut down any attribute that you might have technically and that says a lot that's powerful he also has the ability to like you know make your shit look obsolete because he can be so aggressive that look like sometimes he'll be so aggressive that make like the other battle rapper look like he doesn't have like any energy or effort in his shit you know what i'm saying because he can be just wild on you like that because his voice like he got one of the best unique voices in battle rap in my opinion like his like when he talking you i know it's jay murder you know what i'm saying but I'm going to go with Saga slightly. I was going to glean Jay Murder when I first did this, but I'm going to go with the Saga in this one. 2-1, clear. I just think he's, like I said, he's more well-rounded. I feel like he's aiming for something. He's on a mission. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Saga, 2-1. Sharon versus Geechee Gotti. Looking forward to this one. Sharon had probably one of the more underrated years last year that didn't get talked about, man. He beat who he beat? He beat Twerk on like t two weeks' notice. He um had a goodie with Rum that a lot of people didn't think he stood a chance versus Rum. He made that one pretty nice and watchable. Had another really dope battle at the top of the year last year versus A Ward. Had the battle versus Rome that a lot of people... I actually like his battle versus A-War. I thought he was better in that battle than the one versus Rome, but whatever. Still a really great catalog of battles. Beat Big Cannon in Big, in Big Cannon's backyard. That says a lot, that RBE stage. So, yeah, man, he's putting on. And Geechee is phew, the best resume in one year that I've ever seen. Y'all, it's well, been well documented. I'm going to go with Geechee in this one because this is a new Geechee. If this was like a... Geechee before last year where he still had glaring flaws and he wasn't as comfortable on stage and he couldn't freestyle and re uh, well, rebuttal as well as he could because you know that you know what Sharon's going to do and that shit sways around for him but Geechee got powerful rebuttals now so <laughs> I think they're going to be on an even playing field when it comes to that um, I'm going to go with Geechee 2-1 and I just think his style is going to translate better on that stage over there in Florida. And he's going to be comfortable because he was there already. And he faced Don Marino in, his, in Don Marino's backyard and got one of the rare W's against Don Marino in his backyard. So if you can do that, you can do anything, right? Lastly, the one I've been waiting on, A-Ward versus Mac Myron. I was tweeting about this all last year. Uh, League finally picked it up. So think it's awesome man think it's awesome shout out to gardens of the culture for picking a battle up and this battle probably is not getting the attention it deserves primarily maybe because mac uh the the, the lore after that danny myers battle kind of faded away because he battled Ryder and it was just an okay battle to some and then who else he battled caustic one of the town business two card and while i thought it was a pretty good battle a lot of people say they weren't feeling it like that so kind of the lust is going off of Mac Myron's name, but I still think he's incredible. One of the best punchers in the game. And A War is just a beast, man. Don't matter what he can be, you know, in Wichita, he can be on town business. It don't it just don't matter for him. I'm gonna go with A War. I trust him in this setting. 
Uh, also, Mac has the occasional slip-ups. A Ward does not. So I'm going to go with A Ward based off consistency and all that good stuff, man. This is, like I said, it's going to be t- it's going to be time to put up a shut up when you talk about this card. A lot of people got some stock rising, dropping scenarios going on on this event. So we're going to see what's going on, man. This is Cold War by Guardians of the Culture going down tomorrow. Tune in. Check it out. G-O-C, oh, excuse me, G-O-T-C, TV.com, all right? Everybody enjoy y'all weekend. That was my predictions. And as always, keep it battle rap. Love.